Hi and welcome to Swedish Plant Guys. In this video we give you five quick tips on the Ficus Elastica, also known as the rubber plant. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more content and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Now let's go! Number one. This is a ficus plant, so the recommendation is to place this somewhere where it gets a lot of indirect sunlight. We have two different varieties here in the studio today. We have the ficus elastica robusta, and as the name suggests, this is an extremely robust plant. This is our recommendation for starting off with a rubber plant then you should get the Robusta because it's very easy to care for. It's a strong plant. Then we have the Ficus Elastica Abidjan. Now the differences here are the coloration. The Abidjan is a little bit darker. It also has a more purplish reddish color on the veins of the leaves but also underneath the leaves, it has a completely different color palette than it has on the Robusta here. Now, these two can be placed almost anywhere in your house. Now, if you try and search on the internet for where to place your Ficus Elastica, you will probably see that it should get a lot of indirect sunlight, but you should never place it in direct sunlight because it will burn the leaves. Well, our experience is actually that it likes to be placed somewhere where it gets a little bit of sunlight during the day. So maybe not placing it directly next to a window where it gets sunlight all day because that will burn the plant, but it can get a little bit sunlight every day is fine. It actually likes that. However, on the other end of that palette, you can also place your Ficus Elastica somewhere where it's a little bit darker. Now, then we are talking about the Robusta, because this can actually be placed quite dark before it reacts to that. But if you have some other type of Elastica, if you have the Abidjan, or if you have a variegated Elastica, then you need to consider the light. Give it lots of indirect sunlight because the variegated forms will actually lose their variegation, the coloration of the leaves, if it's placed very dark. It can survive there, but it will get another look. Number two, the Ficus Elastica, all varieties, drink quite a lot of water. So when you water your Ficus, make sure that the entire root ball is soaked in water. Just pour a lot of water through the pot, but use drainage holes. And what I mean by that is these small holes in the bottom of the pot. Use these drainage holes to make sure that all of the excess water goes away. So if you have an outer pot here, when you've watered your, your plant, make sure that the excess water goes away. So you have a completely soaked root ball, but it's not standing in water. Then you wait and you wait until the top soil of your plant is dry at least one inch or two and a half centimeters down into the pot. So just use your finger to feel the soil. When it starts to get dry on top here or two and a half centimeters down into the pot, then it's time to soak the entire root ball again. Take away the excess water. Number three, if your Ficus Elastica starts to get yellow leaves, and usually it's the oldest leaves, meaning the leaves that are down by nearby the soil, if they start to get yellow, that means that you haven't watered your plant enough. Now I have some yellowing of the older leaves down here. I can actually remove this and show you. As you can see here, it's starting to become yellow. This means that this plant hasn't been giving enough water. Now, don't give more water, just increase the frequency with how often you water. 
So make sure that you feel the soil. As soon as it starts to get dry on top, you add water again. So increase the frequency, not the amount of water you're giving. Number four, the Ficus elastica, all varieties have these huge, really nice leaves. But a good tip is that you, every month, you take a cloth of some type. This is a microfiber cloth used for cleaning. You can use any type of cloth. Soak this in water and rinse off or wipe off the leaves once a month. Because since you have these huge leaves like this, a lot of dust are going to fall on the leaves. It can be other type of particles and you will see that it starts to look a little bit shaded. Now, if you want them to look really lush and really stand out and be shiny, just take your water soaked cloth and wipe off the leaves like this. And instantly you will get that really nice shine again to the leaves. And also, as an added bonus, if you do this once a month, that means that you are so close to the plant that you can also check to see if you have any pests. Usually, they arrive on the underside of the leaf here. So, when you wipe off the top side of the leaf, take a look on the bottom as well to see that you can't see any pests. Number five. Don't be afraid to prune your ficus elastica. Now, some types of ficuses can be quite hard to prune or quite hard to get to branch out, like the ficus lurata or the fiddle leaf fig, for instance. This is not the case with the rubber plant. You can prune this and you can prune it almost all year around. I would not recommend you to prune during winter because it goes a little bit dormant. But any other time of the year, it works perfectly. So just go in and prune in between two leaves, in this internode here, in between two nodes or two leaves. You just go in and cut off. What you're doing when you're doing that is that you will, you will activate buds further down the stem. You can actually see a small, small bud and you, then you can also see where it will start to branch out. So if I were to go in and cut off here or cut off here on the stem, this bud here will probably be activated and start to branch out. But if you prune during spring or autumn when the plant is active, you can have a lot of buds getting activated at the same time. So the plant will start to branch out and become fuller. Always consider when you're pruning a ficus, because most ficus plants bleed. When you cut a ficus plant, you have a white sap that will start to bleed a little bit. It's not a problem for the plant. The ficus elastica really doesn't care, but that white sap can actually, for some people, give an allergic reaction. So use gloves and make sure that you're not getting that white sap anywhere on your body. It's usually not a problem. But you can go in as well and just take a cloth and wipe the wound. Just make sure that all that sap that is coming out a little bit, just take it away with a wet cloth like this and it will close and then you will see the buds forming a couple of weeks later. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do hit the bell as well so you get a notification every time we put up something new. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram where you can get sneak previews on upcoming videos and sometimes a little bit more. Now until next time, Haido!